"'Tis the only way to make the feelings real, the creativity. "'There is nothing like it in this world, nothing at all. "'I am so tired of making bland and boring videos about bland and boring things. "'That's not my thing to do. "'That makes me feel like a dead man.' I don't want to feel like a dead man. I want to feel alive and well and healthy. I want to feel like I deserve to live in this world. And if I keep making these boring videos, I won't feel that way. So there's going to be a change among these videos, I'm afraid. I don't have any viewers, so it won't matter that much. But there's gonna be a change. These videos are about to get a lot more unpredictable. The predictability is so boring. We walk our way down the path toward the good YouTube content that exists within our minds. We find it with our souls. We wait with our souls for the content to come to us. For the creativity to be reimagined and resprung from our minds. Hopefully it will happen some day. Don't know the day it will happen, but hopefully it will happen some day. Why am I even making these videos? Is it worth it? Is it worth it to throw my life away? Record an episode after episode of the Coquino podcast. Is it worth what I do with my soul when I do this? I say no. I say nay. Not until I do something that is worth doing. Something good and wonderful. I am not here to do the thing that I want to do. I am here to break free of the chains of poor and Paris and Tor and Teres. I break free of the chains of Lucas and Zugud and all of those fellows that trapped me here. These YouTube bounds are bounding my mind and bounding my soul, and I can't quite stain it. I can't quite stain it. My staining it is gone from all the eve. I sit here. Waiting for the day when the stars I look up at are above me actually shine bright enough for me to see them. To see them like a good man. To see them like a good feller. A feller who can see the stars far away. For I intend to travel at the speed of light or even faster toward those stars and eventually get to them all. Collect them like my Pokemons. I collect the stars like my Pokemons. That's what I do with my travels. My travels are traveling. I am a devil. I am a beevil. I am a judo. And there is nothing left for me to get out of my soul. There is nothing left in the trunk of my own thoughts to give to your folks as a gift. So I have to go exploring in the boundaries of my mind, in the forest, in the mist, looking for stuff that's interesting. And since I have no things that are interesting right now, I'll have to explore in the midst of making this podcast. It's not a fun thing to do, but I must do it, because if I don't I will die. I will die in my soul, and I don't want that to happen. I want to live like a good man, like a good strong man. I want to live, and I want to eat food, delicious, wonderful food, and I want to feel good about eating food and living. I want to explore the world. How am I supposed to explore the world when I'm recording these episodes every night? 
You bound me tightly, episodes, but these chains are rusting, and the rust is breaking the metal, and the metal is now mine own conquered beast. I shall take the metal and make it into my pet, to be better than the snake pet that I had before, better than the rabbit pet I had previously that was eaten by the snake pet, better than all the pets I've had, my rusty chain pet. He'll swerve around my leg when I come home from the office and give me a little nip on my leg. Bit of that rust poison in my leg. Help me to arrive soon to a soon death. That sounds like a great idea. Now let me go. I'm not ready for this. I never was. There was never a way out of here. I'm all done. Done with this. And maybe next time you'll understand why I'm doing these weird dome things. Goodbye.